Hello, guys. It's Paula here to, to do a design team project for Cheaply Chic. The lady, the designer, is Lynette. And I will link it below where you can go and look at her kits. And you do not have to subscribe. So, and she sends you a kit with the books or you can buy the books separately. Okay, so, um, I've kind of put some stuff on each page for us to work on. It might just, I felt like it would speed things up a little bit. So, we'll just get busy right now. I hope you guys are doing good. I've been kind of sick to my stomach, but hey, I am able to do a video. <laughs> okay, so I laid this heart down in here um, in the center uh, because I just like the way it looked. And I'm thinking I want to do, put these little flowers just randomly on here. I hope not that one. I don't know how it got in there. Um, yeah. Where did it go? Where's the other one? Oh my goodness. Just had it. Maybe I put it back in here. Yeah. There it lays right there. Right here in broad light. Okay, so I'm going to use my fabric tack to get these little flowers down and get them in, you know, get them where we want them. And then we're going to add little gems to them. So I'm just putting a little bit of glue in the center. Now this one has already has a red, little red gem on it. And this little pale pink also does. So I figure, no, it has a pink one. Crazy, right? I just decided to put them right here, even though they're not the same color. color I thought they'd look good next to each other. Yeah, just like that. Okay, now, these used to have a center in them, but, you know, the centers, just, the centers of these just do not hang on. And so, I thought, well, we'll just replace them with some better ones. So, they'll get a center here in a second. Okay, I don't think I have enough. I think I have enough, but I might be able to take this one off. I don't know, because it looks odd being the only pink one, right? Maybe that's just me. And I'm just kind of following the flowers that um, came on the, on the dually. See, we're just kind of doing the same design. Um, and then I've got this extra one. But I don't want to put it down here because I'm afraid it will keep it from closing. And so I'm just going to toss it back over there. Let me get our little gems. Okay, I've got pink. I've got red. Oh, I think we should do pink. Just because. And we're going to use the glitter glue i opened up a new bottle of glue late last night or early this morning and it's already acting like a crazy glue okay put it over here okay so let me make sure yeah you guys are in frame okay so we're going to do this next i'm going to put the little gems on here and I'm just going to pick out uh, this, use this middle size right here. Okay, so I'm putting them on, on this um, little tweezers so that I can get them down into the puddle. Now, you need to remember that right now it looks like, looks horrible because, um, It's white, but it dries clear. So I'm not going to worry about how it looks or anything like that. Okay, now let's get another one. And here we go. This is a simple little page. And I just thought, let's do it first so it can dry. Then we're going to decoupage um, a couple of pages and, so they can dry. And um, 
I'm gonna go ahead and put both of these dots down here already. And yeah, might be a little faster. Can't do too many cause it dries pretty quick, but I figure we could do two. Yeah, that one looks really bad, doesn't it? <laughs> it will dry clear. I think everybody pretty much knows that now because a lot of people are using the glitter glue. Don't even tump upside down. Yeah, that one's getting tossed. I don't want it to look cloudy. I'm terrible at putting sequins down because my fingers are clumsy. Now I'm going to push them down so they stay down pretty good. And this one, I'm going to kind of lift some of this off. Yeah, so this is just a very simple, pretty page. Now, um, I'll, it will depend, but at the end, whenever I get... Um, that one had a lot on it, too. At the end of decorating this book, I will get anything that's um, left over that I really wanted to put in there into the book. And I might go back and add some things to this at that time. But I'm kind of saving everything else. I needed really some down through here. It would have looked prettier, wouldn't it? I have some red ones, but I don't think it looks right doing red than doing... Yeah. It wouldn't look right. Okay. So, let's go over and do one of the napkins. Now, I've already separated all the napkins, and all you have to do is um, just tear whatever you want. I've got to find my little weight because this thing is already chunky out of this world. I mean, I'm not kidding you. I, I have... Uh, made it a little bit on the big side. Now, I know I have a little thing that has water in it. I just got to find it. Give me a second. Where did that go? Huh. I hate it when I lose things like that. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's not it. That's a marker. Silly. Silly person. Well, it's not over there. So, I tell you what we're gonna do. I'll use this, <laughs> see if it works. <laughs> to draw around it, you know. <laughs> this is the end of a Tim Holtz um, spray bottle. Oh, I know what I can use. All else fails, use your art brushes. Didn't think about that quite soon enough, did I? Okay, now, let's get this open. And I don't want to do it on the page because it will get the page all wet. So, I'm just going to go around it. Good grief. Got to get the water down to the brush because it's been sitting there. Okay, so I'm going to go down beside the, and around the rose. And this is a beautiful napkin, isn't it? I don't usually get quite that close, but we'll see what happens. All right. So my friend came over today and we cropped, had a good day. We just have so much in common that we, we crack ourselves up almost. You ever have somebody that is a friend that you have so much in common with? It just makes it a lot more fun, doesn't it? Okay, now this takes just a second to tear around. 
even though it's wet, you still have to be kind of careful. Oh, it looks like I've missed a layer on here. It looks like there's another layer. So we'll pull that off in just a second. Man, it really works with that water, doesn't it? A lot of people don't use it. I'm crazy, I like to use it, I guess. Let me see. Come off of there, there you go. Come back around this way. Of course, I had to do it too detailed. There we go. All right. Now, we're going to separate this. It just separated on its own. You know, when it's dry, it's hard to know if there's more than one layer. So this is a journal with me. I'm not actually journaling, but we're building one, right? Okay, so we're gonna get this over here. And I'm trying to remember if I wanted to put it on the right or the left, because I don't really, I don't really want it to like be on two separate pages. I don't think, we'll see. Okay, open up the decoupage. All right. Trying to, my brush is so stiff from, this is all I do with this particular brush. And man, it don't like it. But you know, you just put some soap on your brush and you can get the decoupage out of it run hot, hot water over it. That's what I do. And I've been using this brush, well, si at least since I've been doing YouTube, which is almost two years. All right, so there we go. Let's see. Once we get this on here, we can trim off anything we don't like. I'm sure I missed something somewhere. Well, it looks like the leaves are wanting to go on the other side. Just barely. Got to be real careful when you do uh, decoupage over the top. I always put a small coat on the bottom and then come back with some over the top. Now, I've noticed that there's a lot of people don't do anything underneath it and they just um, go over the napkin. And it's, it appears to stick, but I would think it would start coming up. I mean, I'm just guessing, but. Because you're gluing it down, and then you're putting the decoupage on top to give it some, uh, some glue or shiny sections. Okay. Okay, now we're going to have to cut that, um, what did I do with my little wipey? We're going to have to cut the leaf off there. So, let's do that. So, I'm thinking, ooh, there's a lot right there, isn't there? Let me get that. Okay. Now, I'm going to hold this, but it does not want me to mess with it. But it'll get over it. Okay, so we're just going to cut straight along the edge of the page. And I'm not worrying. I'm, I just am getting it as close as I can. Not worrying too much about it. Then down here. Okay. 
Okay, now, as far as, um, as far as these, uh, the other parts go, this napkin, I'm going to put it across the bottom, but the napkin itself is, um, pretty, let me clip this thing back. It's driving me crazy. Okay. Can't clip on the wet part, but maybe I can clip over this way a little bit and put the weight right there. That is right. Now, I'm thinking on this other portion, we have this little small amount we could put right here. And these others are so light and faded that I don't think we could see them. But um, I'm gonna tear this part off too on this one and just get the, the darkest portion, okay? I'll get my water going. And I'm throwing the rest of this away. Excuse me, I'm trying to get this. <laughs> trying to get this little paper apart here before we get started. That is so weird. Now, see, you can't even see. It just depends on where you're at. All right, no fingernails does not help. Okay. <laughs> uh, have you, I had one of those days today where I just wanted to scream it every now and then. Have you ever made something and never can get your cut just right? Before you know it, you're hitting your head up against the wall, saying forget it. That's how I felt today. But I'm all right. I'm still all right. Okay, I think I want to put this one on first. And I should have pulled the paper off of it first. I don't guess it really matters. Then we'll add some water. Okay, now, move this over. I stuck my thumb in the middle of the decoupage. I'm going to wait and dry it all at one time. Because, you know, it's boring. All right, so we're going to go in here. Okay, let's go ahead and get that off. Okay. I'm so far behind on my videos, and I don't ever like to get behind because I enjoy watching all the different ones. Well, I have a few of my favorites, but I don't really have a favorite, a favorite favorite, <laughs> if that makes sense. I mean, there's some I like a little better than others, but I think everybody does a pretty good job. Okay. All right, here we go. You're like, well, when? In a minute. Okay, so I think this is gonna go in the corner like this. We'll do it just like this. That way, if, you know, I've left the border on it, which I probably shouldn't, but I thought it might look unique. Okay. So... I'm trying to get out there where where I can go underneath a little bit better. Okay, get up there, flowers. Okay. 
Okay, there. And I know some people just use a glue stick to put them down. And I think it depends on what you're doing. If it's going to be something you're going to keep for a long period, you know, that's one thing. I meant to cover up underneath my pages. I'm going to town here, probably getting decoupage on everything. There we go. Okay, so this one's almost wet down. And then we'll we'll do the other one brief a brief amount of it. Okay, now got this other one here. I don't know if I'm gonna want to put it on here or not though, because it's so just barely you can just barely see it. So lay it down here. Ooh. Let's see. Wet it down and let's just see how much of it we end up with. Because it's not super colorful. Oh, that wasn't was cool. I got, oh, I thought I tore something up, but I didn't. Okay. Well, let's see if we have a space to put this in. I just thought it could work up behind this other one, you know, kind of like a... Hmm, I think I'll take that part off. And then we can just kind of put it down the middle. Sound good? I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. We are excited to have you. Okay, so I'm just going to go pull a little bit more of that off. I'm just going to run this right up beside and where it looks like it's coming from out behind this one flower. There we go. I have this one little piece, but it doesn't look good. Okay, it's out of here. All right, so that is this portion with decoupage. Now I'm going to put my brush in the water and blow dry this while we... I gotta move this stuff around so it doesn't spill all over everything. Let me put those back up there. Da da da. I'm sorry, this is gonna be loud. Just give me a minute. It doesn't take as long as you think to dry these things. It dries pretty good. You just gotta hope that down inside the the spine part of it <laughs> will be the same. Now that's not perfect, but every little bit helps, right? Okay, cause I'm taking this little bobby pin I have laying here and I'm making sure there's no messed up, no uh, decoupage down in the spine, no big places. Cause there, there was a few. So that way maybe it can dry 
and um, worked just fine. Now that worked. So what do we want to put on here? I'm thinking out loud to myself. Uh, let's put this back under here. Oh, uh, there's a couple places that it's just wanting to come off. Um, let's see. Right here is kind of rolled backwards. You know, I kind of look at it like if it doesn't want to lay down right, it's gonna come. It's gonna go out of here. It will not make it. Oh, and then right here. Okay, there we go. All right, now I'm thinking, let me see. I had an idea, but I can't remember. Maybe it was putting these butterflies. I want to say it might have been putting the butterflies on. Now, these are old, old butterflies, but I think they're pretty. And I'll have to, I could do like Rachel and have it coming down, couldn't I? Maybe we'll have that one going down. Or this one. Let's do that one going down. And then maybe that one over. Up and over. Or up and over that way. Okay, now I have... I think I have one more if I can... You know, I have a couple more. Okay, well, I'm, I'm uh, going to put this white one over there. And they're really pretty. They still have their antennas. And, uh, yeah, now I don't have them glued down yet. I've just got them laying there. And then we have a baby one. A couple baby ones. Um, hmm. Just going to get rid of them by using all of them because they're so old. Hmm. Here's that. Okay, now we'll work on those two on the other side in a minute. Right now, we just wanna get these glued down with some glue. Now this, again, will make your book bulky, but what you do is, I'm trying to find my glue, I don't see it anywhere. Okay, what you do is you um, just put something hard underneath where you're gonna write and uh, that will work great. So I'm just gonna slide it up around the wings. This stuff comes out so fast, I just wanna, I wanna slam it against the wall. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay, so let's do it like this because I like the way that looks. Okay, there's that portion put this little one on here. It can do its thing. Do its thing. Okay, so here we go. We're going to put it up. Let's see. Do I want it going off the page? I don't want it to look like it's lined up in a line, you know? Whoops. Way to go, Paula. I'm going to put it going up and down too. Maybe just a little different. And I'm going to do that one going the other direction. Okay. And I did not plan to put these butterflies on there. It just kind of happened. Uh, you know how, how it is. Mm -hmm. This one has to go down. Do you know this, these butterflies were made out of those, those, uh, little cheap flowers, you know, that they used to put together with brads. So let me show you. See, they've taken it and cut a petal out. And then just added some tulle on the front. 
with some beads. Somebody was clev clever. Okay, now there's that. Now I do want to add, um, after we get this baby, I wish I had one more, but I don't. So it is what it is. I'm gonna put this one up here because I just Yeah, this one was done the same way in the back. Didn't know you'd be a detective too in in your crafting, huh? This looks bare. So I'm gonna dig around and see what can be there. Hmm. I could put some washi. Put some washi up here somewhere, right? Surely to goodness. I think it looked dumb with washi up there. So we may just leave it. Leave it be. Let me look in this other bag. One minute. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what I'll put. Okay. I found it. I'm going to ink around this. But this is a little heart. So it can count as our little... Um, our little Valentine. And it will fit in that area just right. Hmm. I'll have to trim that off because it doesn't, it would crowd out the, um, it would crowd out the little little uh, butterflies. I'm looking to find a color that might look cute behind the butterflies. Normally it would be a black, so I'm just gonna get the black. Okay, let's make sure this one's work. Oh, that's red. I would not have been happy about that. There we go. Okay, so now, I'm gonna put the little things behind the butterflies because it's gonna be kind of, I don't know how they're gonna end up looking. Do you guys ever, ever um, do that with your butterflies? Like, you know, Put the little streamers behind them. You know, the little smoke in the wind. <laughs> the problem is, is you don't always know where it's going to end up. So I'm just going to put it like it flew from behind. Now see, they look like they're both connected, but they're not. Since we have a little space right here, we'll go like this. Isn't that cute? They're all running together, but they're still cute. Okay, now, let me do this one real quick and then we'll be done with this page. One more with the baby. Let's do the little, little girl. Let's 
So that turned out better than I had expected. What do you think? It's better than you expected too, huh? <laughs> now I have one more uh, napkin. I really have two, but let's let's see how we go along. I'm gonna cover this. Let me hold it up where you can see. I think it turned out cute. Now let's go back up here toward the front of the book. And if you remember right, the first page we worked on had all these hearts, right? Sorry, I had to get a drink. Um, so, we had this, this flip over thing. What is that hooked on? That is so weird. It's hooking up on something, just a moment. It's probably stuck to some. Let me see. It's inside. There it went. It just got stuck in that little hole. So funny. Okay, now I had some stuff fall out. Oh, this is for another page. <laughs> okay, so we're going to lay that right there. And then we're going to take these hearts. And you're probably thinking, oh my word, that's gonna take forever. Well, it won't. Um, we just gotta get our act together here, get our brush cleaned off. Now, gotta get our paper weight over here, or a book weight. There's nothing paper about it, right? So I'm gonna bring out that third sheet because we're gonna use it too. So we'll start on the left side. And I thought since we had this here, that these hearts would look good on this page and it would just kind of blend. Okay, so now I pulled these apart too and I played and played with it because I kept thinking, I think there's another one on there, but it's not giving me, it's thicker than I think it should be. Okay, let's scoot all of this up so we have plenty of room here. So I'm just going to start like putting circles around uh, these hearts. Now I'm not going to do it to all of them. I'm just going to pick my favorite. Because they'll look they'll look good on here when we're all done. Now I'm going to take I'm going to rip so many at a time out. And I hope I'm on screen, guys. I just don't have enough room for everything. I don't want my napkins drying where I put the water. It's kind of like going backwards. Okay, there's another one. Here's another one. I'm just kind of putting different ones. There's a third one. Now, let's see. Oh, let's do this pink one with polka dots. I almost ripped half of him off. We can put him to the side. Now, we gotta have some, um, gotta have some regular, just red ones, right? So, I'm gonna pick this big one. And I'm going to pick the one next to it since they're, you know, they can help each other out. And I'm going to pick this pink one. All right, I'm going to pull this up so you can see a little better. I hope. So you guys, my sewing machine started acting up again, doing the very same thing the, from the last time that cost over a hundred dollars. And you know, we gave like 300 for it, for ours, but we don't want to keep sinking money into it. I feel like what we do requires a tough machine, like a heavy duty. duty. Um, Mine is an Ashley, Laura, Lauren Ashley. 
got that backwards. And um, I haven't even had it two years yet. And it's already needing to go back to the shop. The wheel on the side is barely letting me turn it now. And that's what it did last time. Last time it just finally got where it was just like, nope, you're not turning it. So that was aggravating. So I'm gonna get this one right here and the other one right next to it and this one. And then we'll start putting them down. I wanted one of those little black, red with black and I'll get one before it's all over probably. Okay. This little bitty one and this big one. Come off of there. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna move this for now. And we have a lot of ground to cover here. If you look, you know, you can see that it's not going to be simple. So I just didn't want it to um, look like something weird, you know. Okay, so I'm going to get the decoupage. And what I'm going to do with the decoupage is I'm just going to start putting down these cute little hearts. Just put a little square. Can you guys see? I'm sorry if you can't. I'll get it to work. Let me look in the camera lens and see. Um, see which way I need to go. Well, it looks like I'm pretty much in frame, so I'll just pull it down a bit. There we go. Okay, so after you put the one down, just go over it gently. Now, I think I want to put this little one up here in the corner. Now, I'm not worrying about the white part around the, uh, the them because it, they're just blending right in. So that's, that's good. And I'm not gonna put them super close to each other. I, what I plan on doing is during my journaling, I will journal in and around, probably with a red or black pen. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, here's a little bit more of a pink. Let's put her down here. Yeah. Then I think I'll just do a big red one right. Whoops, I put my keep putting my brush in my water instead of my Mosh Posh. Let's do a big red one right here. Oh, I don't like that. Don't want any of that stuff next, next to it on there. Okay, now I think we need some pink. So, let's put the pink right in here. Pink and black. Oh, good grief. It's a good thing I have uh, fingernails that don't care. <laughs> I think they don't care. I'll put it that way. Okay, so we need some more small ones, don't we? Okay, well, I'll start putting the bigger ones over here. I'm going to have to get some Mosh Posh. It's getting low. Not about you guys, but I feel like I use a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay, so let's do right here. I 
You know, it actually pulls off better whenever it's wet. <laughs> so I just take it with my fingernail, see? Just pulls right off. Then I go back over it. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me get another pink. We're gonna have to pull some more off the paper here in a minute. Mm, let's do this over here. And we have a red that can go up here before we pull off more. And see, with all of these on here, I feel like these uh, hearts that came from the bag on the previous page are not even noticeable, see? Now, I'm going to go back into this napkin and pull off some small ones. As a matter of fact, I'll probably just cut off some of the small ones, you know. Um, that way, oh, and I like those too. Sorry, guys. I normally don't cut them off, but I just feel like for time's sake, we, we need to. Okay. Come off of there. Come off of there. We'll do a little bit at a time. Then I'm going to check our time and, and see what it's looking like. Okay. I think the little ones just look better when they... <laughs> They're kind of in between everything. And I may have to go back and just work in and around them and put some smaller ones in. Yeah, you can sure see that it, uh, that it, it's not like pulled off like the other ones. And what I'm talking about is the, um, where I didn't wet the napkin and before pulling it off. Let's put this little dude sideways. Mm -hmm. Now, um, let me put these little ones on there. Let's put one right there. I basically want it to look like the napkin did. You know what I'm saying? Only spread out more. And um, get my little scissors to take those corners off. They'll look weird. <laughs> Let's put one right there. Let's put that little booger right there. Can't even hang on to him. He's so tiny. Okay, now that's that one. Let's see how much time we have. We're, we're not going to have time to do the others if we don't stop here. So basically, this is what we are doing on the whole thing. I'm going to have to dry this so we can do the next page.
So I'll show you this when it's finished in the next video. Okay, now let me put the lid on my Mod Podge so it doesn't dry out the only little bit I have. <laughs> I didn't realize I was low. Gonna have to do something about that. Now I'm gonna go over here and pull this. Let's just go see what this one looks like. I love it, you guys. I love it. Okay, well, we're gonna put this in between this. Now, where do we have something else to do? I've stuffed, just stuffed things in there. And let's see, there's one. I thought there was like two more, but we're only gonna be able to do one. So let's see if there's not something else. Okay, that's it. That is it. This is the one. Okay, so I don't really have a plan except for the fact that I want to put this wallpaper on this other side. I've been hoarding it. <laughs> and I'm going to put a little bit of ink on here. Just a little on the edges. I started off, I was going to use pink and red ink and then started with the brown and I was like, oh well, what's, what's the deal? But it's all right, I'm trying not to overload it. Okay, so this is gonna go right here, right down on there. So, add some glue using Fabri-Tac. Try not to get glue on the pages underneath, but I am. When you're trying to hurry, it's you're more likely to Okay. Now here we go. Let's just start on the top. I'm gonna turn it this way so I can get the hearts in the right direction. I'm really trying to get my book done um, in the early part of February so I can use it. But I don't know how close I'm going to get because I really have plans in my brain for all of the pages. But it's already gigantic. I don't know where it would go. <laughs> I don't know how much more it can handle. Oh, where'd that come from? came off the top of that one it stuck to its brother well maybe it would be his sister so I'm gonna put some glue in the middle that's what's challenging when you do projects where you do multiple pages but it'll live it'll make it Trying to think what I could stick in there to keep it from. Here's some. We'll do it like that. Okay. Back to the drawing board. Where were we? Wrong direction. I don't know. There we are. Okay. So we've got this down. And we've got the pink. I want to put this over here in a minute. Um, we really, I really, I don't have a major plan. I thought I'd do a tuck with this heart pitcher, not heart pitcher, rose pitcher. And what we'll do is we'll just put glue on one side. And I just put a lot of glue, so there's no telling what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna take some of this off. I get so messy. Okay, so we're just gonna put it in this corner. I usually leave a little bit of an edge. Okay. So I won't be putting this there. <laughs> I'll find another spot. Okay, so now 
we've got that there and now we can put a this this tag is beautiful i say we do this tag it needs to be hole punched don't you think it's pretty i love it since some kit i had and i did i used um most of the kit, I can't, I'm having to do this at an angle so I can see. Well, I got it upside down. No wonder. Yeah, there's just something about pink roses when you're doing pages and shabby chic. I just love them. Now, I thought about doing this also because I just think it's pretty. And we don't have to overload the book or the pages, you know. It's kind of hard for me to just stop. It's kind of, it's just like I get on a row and then I keep think I think of this and I think of that. And it's hard. So this rose is lying down, so I figure we can just put it like that. And I have left over from another kit I was working on some of this. Oh, crud. I'm sorry, guys. I'm glad that I really didn't hit you. Some of this boa-like stuff. <laughs> That's what I call it. It's what it looks like, a boa. Small boa. Okay, so then you stick this in here and i usually just tie them because i don't want them slipping out if i have a lot of time i i take more pains with it but i love this pink fur it's super soft yeah so see it can just kind of hang however you want it to hang i think that's too long that would drive me crazy. I'm gonna have a little leftover fur pieces. There we go. That's better. Okay. All right, I'm gonna lay that there for now. Well, maybe I'll do like this. Okay, so now I also have roses, but they're not all fussy cut. So, I'm thinking I definitely want to put this one here. And I, as far as the inside goes, um, definitely have to ink the edges so you can distinguish where it starts from the pink paper. Okay, so there we got to get the other glue. Well, no, I can use this. It's going to be messy any way you look at it. I love when you're doing your own journal, I love that you can you can look at it in a way, you know, like this is a, a laying down rose right here. I may cut those stems off. I mean, I could take it around, but I don't think it'll stay down. We'll try it. I can trim it later if I need to. Okay, so this rose is down. Let me hold that for one second. I don't think it's gonna, let me bend it. Let me bend it. Okay, now let me get this little, this other glue out, and then I'll pin this down with the something. I'll use a clip or something. Okay. Yeah, see, it's already popping up. It is not obedient, is it? Okay, now, now we have, huh, let's get glue on it. 
I'll set this aside. We have other pink things to put in here, like we have other roses. Ooh, that's pretty too, isn't it? I might put that there. Um, we have a couple more tags. That tag's pretty, isn't it? And it's already inked. We'll put it in there too. And we have a couple more roses. So I'm going to put this rose on now, and then we'll put one above it. And I'm just going kind of from the big to the small. Or you could look at it two different ways. From the small down to the big. Or from the from down, down from the large up to the small. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm crazy. All right, here we go. I just don't want my videos to bore you guys to death. And that one the other day, huh? Oh, couldn't believe I went that long. I, you know, it's just like when you take a break for Christmas or being sick or whatever, it's like starting all over when you come back because you just feel like, oh, what am I doing? Okay, so this one should go like this. There's that one. Now I have one more rosebud, but I gotta cut it out, guys. I'm sorry. It's real fast though. Won't take very long. Do it, did any of you make New Year's resolutions? I haven't even had a chance to ask you stuff. Um, I decided not to make one this year. I feel like I set myself up for disappointment <laughs> when I do. But I'm also noticing that I'm trying to get hoarse again. So keep your fingers crossed for me, girls. I might not make it. I'm still on antibiotics. I'm on like a maintenance. So I, I feel like I should do okay, but I'm having a little bit of fussy problems with my throat. Okay. Just with me being sick, I've already met almost a thousand of my of my three hundred dollar deductible. Can you believe that? It's just crazy, isn't it? Okay, now we'll glue this on and this portion will be done. I may get some letters, some letters out. Um, put some words on some of these, but I, I have to know that it's going to stay in. And I feel like this is so, how do I put it? It's already so full. And I haven't even come near to finishing, so I don't know if I'd be happy with that in the long run. Now, how do they have this? Maybe it's like that. That's how we're going to do it. I just pulled that stem off with my finger. So we know where that's going, right? Well, we're a little cockeyed, so let's just get rid of the stem. <laughs> I thought it was one without a stem, the way it was laying. So we'll make it work. Okay, so we have this and this. And all of this journaling space over here. And we may decide to go back and decorate that inside. But we don't have time right now. So I'm going to lay those two right there. And um, we're going to have to say goodbye. I hope you guys had fun today. Um, I enjoyed it. And it was crazy, I know. But that's how it is on videos, right? Especially when your room's a mess. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. And subscribe if you haven't. We have lots of fun. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.